My first opera, where I really can say, and the rest is history, Das Rheingold. One talks about sound worlds. Well, this was as if I was in this auditorium and the music was the air that I breathed. It was like being in some kind of parallel universe. I felt as if I could actually reach out and touch this music. And it really was. It's one of those seminal moments I can look back on. And uh, I knew there and then, in, it was in Glasgow, it was in 1971, I knew that whatever it takes, my life has to have something to do with this incredible music, this incredible sound world. So, and I still feel as if the the vice around my neck, you know, the, the, the fist that came out of that pit and just grabbed me, really, it hasn't let go. My first opera was uh, The Rabbit of Seville, or possibly what's Opera Doc. Um, they were Bugs Bunny, Warner Brother cartoons, and um, I just remember singing along and doing the gestures and dancing, and um, I always loved singing, and so I, I did impressions of Elmer Fudd and Bugs Bunny falling in love and uh, Can you do one now? riding on. Well, <laughs> of course. Um, my favorite is probably the duet from What's Opera Doc, where Elmer Fudd sings, Oh, Brunhilda, you're so lovely. And Bugs Bunny responds, Yes, I know it. I can't help it. The first opera I ever saw was Tristan and Isolde, and I was 15, and I thought it was very boring and not interesting. And I still have problems with Wagner, even if I, I love the music, of course. But it's, uh, for me, it's uh, quite difficult to enter this world. It's a world apart from, from other operas. My favorite opera, uh, without thinking at all, is Turandot, uh, Giacomo Puccini. Uh, I remember being taken to see that opera uh, a long time ago, way back in January of 1977, when I was just 13 years old. I thought I was going to be bored, um, and it was just one of those events where you sort of lose sense of time and space, and it was just so wonderful that, you know, basically from the moment I saw that opera, I became very, very interested in the medium, uh, and basically have pursued it ever since. Um, my favorite opera is still Tosca. I love my Puccini. Why? It's very dramatic. I just love it. I love the second act, and I just worked that show in another company two weeks ago, and I still, I still love it. But I love my Puccini. I really, really do. I'm a romantic, romantic kind of girl. So. Well, I started having a great love of it because my, my mum took me to opera when I was 10. I saw Bohem, and I caught it like the measles, as Edith Evans said. And I don't know why, but I just was opera mad all my life. Uh, my first opera was La Boheme, and I was fortunate enough to uh, see the production at the Met with Luciano Pavarotti. And um, needless to say, I was hooked. And uh, looking back on uh, the operas I've seen since then, I think uh, Boheme is still my favorite, uh, kind of partial to Puccini. And the music is, is so beautiful, and, and the story. Well, my first opera I actually was in. I was in the fourth grade and it was Amal and the Night Visitors. But my favorite opera is, it's a tie between Traviata or mm, Billy Budd. Billy Budd is just, it's just the most amazing choral singing. So the chorus really gets to shine in Billy Budd. And Traviata just because I just love the story. It's just a great story. Uh, I think some of the first things I saw, I saw at the Met. Uh, I remember seeing a Figaro at the Met um, with uh, Sam Raimi singing Figaro. And to this day, I, Figaro still is one of my favorite roles. Um, just, I, I think Mozart in general, just the, the bringing the acting and the singing together, it still really holds a special place for me. I think the first opera I ever saw was Meister Singer. I was five years old and I sat in the front row because my mother was in the chorus at the time and I was waving at her and I was thinking how come, and I remember this, how come she won't wave back? So at the end of the performance I said, but mom, you didn't wave back at me. And she goes, but I couldn't because I was on stage. <laughs> but she said I sat through the whole thing and I never fell asleep. So that's pretty good for a five hour <laughs> opera.